I'm here to present one of the five schools that belongs to the IE University portfolio, the School of Architecture and Design. We have a fantastic lineup of experts this morning uh, that a colleague of mine is going to be introducing you to. Uh, Dean Martha Thorne is here with us today. Uh, Martha, since 2005, has been the executive director of the Pritzker Architecture Prize, popularly known as the Nobel Prize for Architecture. Uh, prior to joining IE, she was the associate curator of the Department of Architecture at the Art Institute of Chicago during 10 years. Uh, Martha has authored several books and articles, and her interests are the city in making architecture and design relevant for the 21st century through innovative education. So it's with great pleasure that I welcome her to stage and a big warm round of applause. Uh, Julia, thank you so much and welcome to everybody. Uh, um, early risers get the worm. You're gonna get a whole lot more than that this morning, I'm sure. Um, this morning's event will be two short presentations, one by Ben Van Berkel, the next one by Greg Pascarelli, and then there will be a discussion led by Gero Van Schendel, and we hope that you'll participate. So if you have burning questions, get ready, because there'll be time for that at the end. Um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about um, Ben Van Berkel and then Greg Pascarelli. They are two dear friends of the School of Architecture and Design. They are teachers, supporters, and more than that, they inspire us. And I'll tell you a little bit about why they inspire us. I think um, we talk at IE about diversity and how important it is. Well, they represent the best of diversity in the way they see the world and the world changing and how they respond to it. They're people who reinvent themselves, their practices um, constantly to respond to the current challenges that we're facing. Ben Van Berkel, along with co-founder Caroline Boss, began a UN studio, and they started this back in 1998. Ben not only dedicates himself to the practice of architecture, but is a teacher and um, has been at some of the most prestigious institutions like Harvard uh, and many others. He was the Kenzo Tange visiting chair at Harvard. Um, one thing that I like to remember or recall in the words of Ben, he says that the digital revolution is driving every part of our lives except within the built environment. And now it's time for architecture to catch up with technology. He says that as an architect, he believes technology offers great opportunity to get to the very essence of architecture, and that essence is people. Our aim in using technology as a tool to make the, is to make the built environment more humane and healthy on a physical, mental, and social level. And one final word, if there's nothing else that you, uh, if there's nothing else that you buy as a result of coming to South Summit, buy the book called Knowledge Matters by Ben Van Berkel and Caroline Boss, because that goes into uh, a look at the practice of architecture and how to do it in a more agile way, one that is scalable, relevant, and opens up those very important conversations for the future. Greg Pascarelli, our, sec our second speaker this morning, he founded the firm, the New York-based firm called Shop. And I always thought Shop was like, you know, either shopping or a shop where you did things. Well, I think you do, they do a lot there. But Shop represents the names, uh, the last names of the four original founding partners. Greg, as well, is not only uh, an architect. Let me tell you something about him. He studied business before architecture, and the people in his firm also studied technology before architecture. So right there, you can see he's not conventional. Uh, he, still con he still continues to teach. We're so happy that he teaches for us here at IE, but he teaches in New York, throughout the US, and of course, lectures many places. In 2014, Shop was named Fast Company's most innovative architecture firm in the world. 
And it's, um, the reason is, well, you'll see when he gives his presentation, for how they conceive of architecture, how they use technology, how they face big challenges, but also for accepting equity in projects. Rather than the traditional payment of client to an architect in exchange for services, they participate. So from the business side, the technology side, Greg, um, just like Ben, is a very innovative professional, and we're thrilled to have him here. Without further ado, join me in welcoming Ben Van Berkel to the stage. <laughs> 